him in a gold casket. Casket. Then has security, 24 hour security at the that they should reopen our case and have an independent pathologist alleges that she when she discovered those videotapes of Sean and counters in the bedroom in this vault she made copies of them as protection for herself realized that this recent developments surrounding disgraced music mogul Sean Diddy Combs are daylight proof that when it rains it pours reportedly close friends of Diddy's late long-term girlfriend Kim Porter now want her death case reopened with a growing feeling that the man who claimed to love her may as well have done something to keep her silent forever. By the way, did you know most of Porter's friends blame Diddy for her death? Really need to be reopened. Because if that girl was there and she said that Kim was all right, what happened from eight to 11? With Puffy already familiarizing himself with jail, a place he could potentially call home for many years to come, the Grammy winning has another headache to handle altogether, Kim Porter's death, and it is alleged that our guy is in deep panic. But did he do it? And if he did, what were his motives? Because you knew Kim Porter. Is it true that Diddy broke her nose? Bust the nose, man. One of Kim Porter's known is fashion guru Kimora Lee Simmons, who is said to be leading the charge to have the death probe redone. Kimora and Diddy have a history to forget, with the gorgeous designer claiming Puffy is a devil on a suit. Another person who has publicly championed the case reopening is singer-songwriter Al B. Shure. Amid a series of Instagram stories updates this week, the night and day artist spoke at length about Porter, telling fans he's been tagging random law enforcement agencies for years in connection with the death. I am writing this post to formally request an investigation into an entire group of individuals who worked at or around the residence of Miss Kimberly Porter, including the publicists who assisted drafting this," Schur wrote in one post. It has come to my attention that these persons were also instructed to steal her computer and mobile devices, which contained her original book notes. Original notes are distinct from the fabricated BS and offensive pages circulated via Amazon which depict graphic SUL acts involving me that never took place and were edited and added after Miss Porter's tragic M. He continued, I urge you to consider who authorized such a fictitious publication without categorizing it as calculated fiction. The publicists and conspirators worked in concert from separate camps launching this campaign, which appears to be a very personal and a deliberate distraction from their involvement in covering horrific crimes, assisted in and perplexed the public for many years, which I have personally experienced and cautiously deemed just a medical crisis for legal reasons until the rest of these atrocities were uncovered by authorities making it more believable to a gullible public that has been fooled for so long. In follow-up posts, Schur mentioned individuals involved in this matter, who, he speculates, may also be connected to covering up the alleged M of several prominent artists. He further speculated that Porter had knowledge of alleged traying-related crimes, though he did not mention Diddy by name. He did, however, mention Cassie, who accused Diddy of R in an ultimately settled lawsuit last year. In May, hotel surveillance footage from 2016 surfaced showing Diddy Cassie, with whom he was in a romantic relationship at the time. Al B previously took to his Instagram stories to suggest that he has long believed there was more to Porter's 2018 death than what's been reported. The 56-year-old shared an Instagram post from Extra TV about a recently self-published and since disputed book titled Kim's Lost Words, which was initially billed as having come from writings on a thumb drive that Porter gave to friends, as claimed by publisher Chris Todd. The book, notably, has been very widely questioned with regard to its authenticity. A recent Rolling Stone report pointed out that family members and others close to Porter have slammed it as a fake, with Al B. Sure among those calling out the release. Pressed about the accuracy, 
Todd was quoted as saying he would have to offer an I don't know if somebody put my feet to the fire over it. Porter, who was the mother of three children with Diddy, died at the age of 47 from low bar pneumonia. 2009 through 2018, Y'all said Al B. Sure has lost his effing mind and told to go sit down when he stated this verbatim over time. And again on the day of KP's M, Al B. wrote earlier this month, ignored by law enforcement and clowned when he shared what LKP told him out of desperation and warned him to watch his back as well. Bad things. Y'all said, please somebody get Al some medical help. He's lost his mind. The relationship between Sean Diddy Combs and his late ex-partner Kim Porter has resurfaced in public discussions amid the rapper's recent detention on s traying charges. Diddy and Kim, who passed away in 2018 at the age of 47, shared a complex and tumultuous relationship over the course of 13 years between 1994 and 2007. Together, the couple had three children, Christian, now 26, and twin daughters Jesse James and Delilah, both 17. Diddy also raised Kim's son Quincy, now 33, from a previous relationship. Kim, a model and actress, played a pivotal role in the rapper's life, and her untimely death left a profound impact on the family. In November 2018, the mother of four was found dead at her home. After an investigation, it was determined that she had passed away from low bar pneumonia, a form of pneumonia affecting a significant portion of the lung. In 2019, Diddy reflected on Kim's passing in an interview with Essence, emphasizing how central motherhood was to her life. He recounted their last conversation, during which Kim expressed concern for their children. Diddy recalled, she had the flu and she sent the kids over to my house so they wouldn't get sick. One night I was checking on her and she was like, Puffy, take care of my babies. Since Diddy's legal trouble surfaced, it has been reported that Kim's best friend, Lala, has been caring for the twins, although she is not their legal guardian. Meanwhile, his sons, Quincy, Justin, and Christian, are in New York for his legal proceedings, while the twins remain in Los Angeles. While Kim's was deemed natural, several people close to the late model have always believed foul play was carried out. In an interview back in April, Donald Trump Jr., son of the former president, revealed his ex-wife, Vanessa Kay, had been friends with Kim and wildly questioned her official cause of death. Yeah, man, there, she was sort of always in fear of something happening. And I was like, yeah, maybe it's natural, me? but like, not a lot of people die at 47 of pneumonia. Like, you know not a lot of people die at 47 of pneumonia. And I'm not trying to fuel any kind of rumor, but that's a conversation I had with someone who knew her well. He told the Academics podcast, Kim rarely spoke about her relationship with the disgraced rapper, but the pair seemed to remain pals and enjoy a close co-parenting relationship post-breakup. We're committed to our children even if we couldn't commit to each other, Kim once said. I know she deserves to get married, but I'm just not ready, Diddy told Essence in 2006. It's not a reflection on how much I love Kim. It's that I'm just learning how to be a good boyfriend. When I'm finished with this step, I'll move on to the next. But while the couple were both publicly polite about one another, it's clear their relationship was a roller coaster. In 1999, they battled it out in court over child support for Christian, and there were multiple accusations of infidelity on the part of Diddy. Diddy called Kim more than a soulmate, and in a post-breakup statement, Kim wished him prosperity, health, and happiness in life and in love. But in reality, the split was fiery, with Kim reportedly throwing a television at her on-off bow in a fit of rage, waiting for him to leave town before packing up her things and even taking the kitchen table with her. I wanted to be dramatic, she told Essence. Puffy's an action person, not a talk person, so I had to take action, telling him, babe, I'm leaving, was not gonna do it. The indictment alleges that Combs exploited women and other people for years and in a variety of ways. As alleged, Combs used force, threats of force, and coercion to cause victims to engage in- Now, in allegations dating back to 2008, Diddy has been charged with s traying He is accused of engaging in a persistent and pervasive pattern 
toward women and other individuals. The music mogul is said to have enticed female victims and male S workers into drug-fueled long actual performances called F-offs. He is accused of coercing and men to fulfill his sexual desires, protect his reputations, and conceal his conduct. One wish Porter's friends made to her while she was alive and constantly in fear for her life was that, in case of anything, they would fiercely protect her children. In May this year, Kimora Lee took to Instagram to share a picture of Diddy's 17-year-old daughters after a horrifying video emerged showing the rapper assaulting his ex-girlfriend Cassie Ventura. The pair had to restrict comments on their Instagram page after becoming inundated with remarks about their father's shocking treatment of his ex. In her defense of them, Kimora said, I am so very proud of you, my babies. I love you always and will protect you fiercely to the end with all I have. In a different post, the designer and model said, you know you're cooked when you let the babies take your Lambo. I love you, Jesse and Delilah. You are stunning. Kimora and Porter were good friends since their modeling days and reportedly raised their children in close proximity. Twins, Delilah and Jesse Combs, did not address their father's scandals and even limited the comments section as they shared their prom photos on Instagram. Kimora was so close to Porter. In fact, she was one of the first people to arrive at her home when news broke that she had died. And when she arrived, her worst fears were confirmed. In an emotional Instagram post following the tragic news, the fashion maven joined the chorus of celebrities mourning Porter, the mother of four of Diddy's children. At your homegoing celebration today, it became all too real that you are not coming back. I cannot stop crying, but I will be strong for you. Gone way too soon. What the F? I am in shock. To my beautiful friend and sister, I love you, Kimora wrote of the model and actress. This is unbelievable. When I first heard the news, I was angry that someone would play such a stupid joke, she continued. They said you were in your room sleeping. Aoki and I rushed to your house to tell you to get up and come your A outside. But soon as I arrived, I realized you would not come. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Office confirmed Porter's death in a statement. Officers were alerted after a woman was found unresponsive in Toluca Lake, California, and she was declared dead at 11.40 a.m. local time. According to an emergency dispatch call posted by TMZ, the call came in as a cardiac arrest. A source told the outlet she had been suffering from pneumonia for weeks. Every room I walk into now, I think, okay, I will just go and get Kim, Kimora said, but I see that I cannot. This is all too close and too sad. Your light was a beaming beacon for so many. You are a whole mood. You are a girl's girl, which is why we've always stayed close. Alongside her note to Porter, Kimora posted a collection of photographs that included a candid shot of the pals lounging together in dresses, a snapshot of the duo smizing for the camera, pictures of their families, and a photo of Porter in front of a mural that gives her angel wings. We are so alike in so many ways. We shared clothes, food, attitudes, friends, enemies, the greatest happinesses, and the worst sadnesses. We've been married, given birth, raised families, gotten divorced, experienced death, and everything in between together, she recalled. You are a great mama. Between us, we have eight kids who are all cousins. We are and will always be a family. I will look after yours and you will look after and guide us all. What a beautiful, loving, sassy soul to have lost. We love you forever. May God bless your journey, Kimora concluded. We will never stop crying for you. Diddy first commented on the death in a heartbreaking Instagram of his own. For the last three days, I've been trying to wake up out of this nightmare, but I haven't, he said. I don't know what I'm gonna do without you, baby. I miss you so much. Today, I'm gonna pay tribute to you. I'm gonna try and find the words to explain our unexplainable relationship. But now, as it turns out, Quite a number of people are now convinced that it was part of Diddy's mind games and that he had something to do with Porter's death. But how will it end for him? Only time will tell. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.